Hola, ¿qué tal? Eh, hoy día estamos en el centro de Ciudad de México. Me acompaña Iván en la cámara. Hola, Iván. Y voy a estar disparando con la Besa L. Eh, le puse esta cámara, o esta cámara va a estar usando un lente Voigtlander de 15 milímetros, el 15 milímetros Elier, con un visor externo. La cámara en sí no tiene visor, la cámara es ciega. Eh, así que se calcula la distancia viendo la distancia acá para enfocar y luego se compone con el visor. Y eso es todo. Es una cámara muy simple y voy a probarlo hoy día con un rollo que no tengo idea qué marca es, ni qué hace, ni nada. Es este de acá, que dice simplemente Color Print Film 400 ASA. Así que vamos a ver qué tal este rollo, lo vamos a probar acá y sacamos unas fotos alrededor. ¡Vamos!
Right, so that was the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I want to talk to you a little bit about the Besa L and make some kind of a review. Uh, well, I'm using this camera and I've, I've only used it with the uh, 15 millimeter, uh, the earlier 15 millimeter Voigtlander, and it works great. I really like it for this, um, for this body. It's a, it's a small lens, as you can see. It's quite compact. So you can carry it around. I actually carry it around without any straps. I prefer to have a strap and have the camera hanging around my neck or on the side. But on this camera, the straps holders or the, I don't know the name for this thing in English, but the place where you hold the strap or where you attach it, it's on the front. Maybe you don't think it's a big deal that it, it has the, the holders on the front, but that means it's, it, 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 when you hang it on your neck or on the side, it goes like this. So this, the viewfinder, gets stuck on your body the whole time so it, it it stabs on your chest or it stabs on your sides and it's so uncomfortable that I, I couldn't bear it. I just I just had to use it without straps so I carry it around like this. I will much rather have this camera with the straps on the sides so it could it could work perfectly but it doesn't. You have it on the front and it's ah that's a, such a bad design man. That's that's the biggest downside of this camera in my opinion. It's made out of plastic, basically, or most of it, it's made out of plastic, which means it's really light, so it's good to carry around and it's super uh, light and comfortable. But the downside is it feels flimsy. It feels like it's gonna break. Not all the time, a lot of places are really well put, but uh, for example, the, uh, this dial where you select the, you know, the uh, self-timer, it feels like it's gonna break if I, if I pull it too hard, so I barely ever use it. I guess I use it once to see if it worked, but it, uh, it's, it, 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 I didn't like it. The first time that I used this camera, I didn't like the rewinding system. I mean, it's like any other camera, right? You just, you just pull the, the thing in here, lift it up and rewind it. But I felt it was really, really, it felt fragile for me. I didn't like it, but from the third roll on, I just, okay, I got used to it. So it's not that terrible. Um, what I do like a lot is the advanced lever, how it works like this. Ah, it's so satisfying and the shutter sounds great too. I don't know, I, I think it's, it has a satisfying movement to the thumb. It, it's, it's comfortable, I really like it. It has a light meter and it's a blessing because you can just carry around the camera and, and, and use a light meter without needing a cell phone or an external light meter. The only problem that I found with this light meter is that it's really wide. So when there's like a person and there's like a bright sky, the camera knows that it has to take the measure more from the ground than from the sky. Like it, it, it knows that and it's, it's designed that way. But at the same time, I don't really, really trust it. So when I'm gonna take a picture of somebody, I usually measure my hands when I'm about to take pictures. And um, if, if the subject is in the same lighting conditions that I am. For example, if I'm on the shade, right? And the person I want to take a picture is in the shade too. Instead of measuring the light to that person because it might grab parts of the sky, I point the camera down to myself and measure the light with my own hands and see what my metering gives like on, on, on here. And then I like select the shutter speed and the aperture accordingly. And then I take the picture. Another thing that I really like about this camera is that the on and off switch is the advanced lever. So now the camera is off and now it's on. I can take pictures and I can measure light and everything. So I can shoot, but if I move it like this, now it's locked. Really smart system, I like it. I highly recommend this camera. I actually do, I enjoy it very much. It's, it's a really fast action camera. You can just take pictures around. Uh, of course, it's not as fast as Lomo LCA because you still get a focus and you still get to select your um, shutter speed and your aperture and whatever. But overall, it has a light meter. And with these lenses, for example, this lens, if you put it on F16, everything's gonna be in focus from 30 centimeters to infinity. That's a lot of things in focus. Do I recommend it? Yeah, if you're looking for a camera that you can use like for this kind of lens or super wide lenses for uh, screw mount, this might be a very, very good option. Um, one last thing that I've discovered in this month or a little bit more that I've been using it is that since it's plastic, there are many things that are gonna be, and I can foreshadow, they're gonna not break, but they're gonna be worn quite fast. For example, the other day was a really hot day and I was grabbing the camera like this because of, as I said, it has no, I don't put it uh, straps. So I was walking around with the camera hanging like this 
And then at the end of that day of shooting, when I look at the thumb, like the place where I hold my thumb in the camera, it's already worn out. Like, it's, I mean, you can tell it's not terrible, but you can see like after one day of using it, it already has some marks and it has like dents and it's like the plastic kind of melted around the area where I had my thumb. For now, it's doing the job and I'm enjoying it. So yeah, that's all I have to say about the Besa L. If you have any further questions, just drop them in the comment section and I'll try to answer all the questions that you might have. I may not have all the answers, but I hope I can point you in the right direction. And yeah, thank you so much for sticking by and thank you so much to my Patreons because you guys are the freaking best and you like help me fund the channel and yeah, you guys just rock so much. Thank you, thank you so much for everything. And that's all I have to say. Um, Take care, I'll see you next week and keep shooting guys.